Finally, this is the 100th build in our channel. We're going to use Great Oracle Bubble as our main spell to conquer NG plus 7 and use Thorn Sorceries to assist our attacks. It is a surprise that Great Oracle Bubble deals very decent damage per cast. However, the animation is very slow, which is not very variable during boss fights. So I primarily use it to get some front-loaded damage at the beginning of the boss fight when possible. It is very good to take a big chunk of the boss's HP or transform them into phase 2. Some bosses such as Godfrey cannot even do anything before the fight. Here are the buffs used for the build. Please smash the like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell to never miss a video. I would also like to thank all of you very much for supporting the channel to allow me to reach my original goal of playing 100 Elden Ring builds. Thanks for those who suggested the Sworn Sorceries. The ideas of the two spells are very good, however the animation of both of them are very slow. Through a lot of tests, I still cannot get their damage to be very good for NG plus 7 bosses. Hence I used the Sworn Sorceries to assist the attacks. Notice that Briars of Punishment has insane range of reach. It can be very good in the open world to attack mobs from remote. I sometimes use it to finish the bosses off for fun. When we go in, Marjit will be surrounded by the bubbles, and we can cast our Sworn Sorcery to finish him off. Just be careful to dodge his attacks. And dodge again, go back, and cast Briars of Punishment. Look at the reach of this sorcery. It is just insane. Okay, Marjit is very easy to finish off. Here is an overview of all the items used for this build. We use a plus 10 Lucette Glingstone Staff for our main damage output. Golden Order Seal to cast the buffs. Any seal of any level can work. In the offhand, we use Staff of Guilty to buff Sworn Sorcery spells or Carry On Glingstone Staff to buff Carry On Slicer spell. Godric's Phase 1 should be very easily done by casting the Great Oracular Bubbles. You can just sit there on top and continue casting the bubbles. Then he will be transitioning to phase 2. We use Carry On Slicer's spell to get some faster damage at the beginning of phase 2. Then dodge his attacks and look at what he's doing. Okay, then we can cast another bubble. After that, he should have very minimum HP left. Then we can finish him off by Briars of Punishment. Done. These stats are at level 150 with Gartric Great Rune. The most important stat is definitely Intelligence. Only need 18 Arcane to cast the Great Oracle Bubble. I maxed out Vigor and put enough points in Mind and Endurance. Redawn gives us enough time and space to get buffed and cast the Great Oracle Bubbles before he came even close. Let's see what this can do. I think I casted about 4 to 5 bubbles before he came closer and then his HP just go down to like almost nothing. Then I finished him off by using Briars of Punishment. This is a very typical fight. Golden Godfrey fight is actually a surprise to me. You can see in the end, he cannot even do anything. Feel free to use any armor set. I use Queen's Crescent Crown to increase intelligence by 3. For talismans, we use Godfrey icon to boost the bubble spell damage by 15%. Ritual Sword Talisman to boost our damage by 10% when on full HP. Magic Scorpion Charm to increase magic damage by 12%. Graven Mask Talisman to boost sorcerer's damage by 8%. Enjoy the rest of the boss fight and have some fun.
must become a lord. Alrighty, hope you have enjoyed the fight. Please leave your comments below and see how you want to tweak and play the build. See you in the next one.